Hey, hey, lovely ass sisters, it's your girl Abaya back with another video. Thank you for tuning back in again today. And if you're new here, hey girl, you're most welcome to the family. In today's video, I want to share with you my DIY hair mask that is also a protein treatment. So for those of you who are interested in knowing what I use as a protein treatment slash deep conditioning treatment, this video is for you. So now without any further ado, let's dive right into this video. So for my first ingredient, I'm going to be using banana. So now let's talk about the benefits of banana. Banana improves the manageability and shine of your hair. It prevents and controls dandruff. It adds moisture to your scalp. It helps soften and protect your hair's natural elasticity. And it also prevents split ends and breakage. The vitamins in banana are potassium, vitamin B6, vitamin C, magnesium, copper, and manganese. So first of all, of course, I'm going to peel the banana and then I'm chopping it in smaller pieces and then I put it into my mixer. So for the next ingredient, we have avocado. So now let's talk about the benefits of avocado. Avocados help your hair to grow more healthy. It helps seal your cuticle cells. It promotes smooth and shiny hair, as well as preventing breakage. The vitamins contained in avocados are folate, magnesium, potassium, vitamin B2, B3, B5, B6, and vitamin C. Just like the banana, I'm going to peel the avocado and then I'll chop it up in smaller bits and put it into my mixer as well. Yeah, I don't want to leave anything behind. So I'm trying to get all the goodies from the seed. <laughs> no avocados left behind. <laughs> so now moving on to the hydrolyzed wheat protein. Let's talk about its benefits. It reduces your hair's porosity, strengthens your hair, makes your hair healthier, shinier, and easier to style. It increases your hair's ability to receive and retain moisture. It helps reduce breakage helps eliminate frizz and tangles, and makes your hair appear fuller. The vitamins contained in wheat are vitamin A, D, E, and lecithin. I think I should have gone and checked how to pronounce it, but I think it's lecithin, okay? <laughs> so that's about the amount I'm going to be using, one and a half of that cup right there. Depending on your hair, you might need more or less. But since it had been a while since I'm doing a protein treatment, I decided to add this amount and it was totally fine. My hair didn't feel hard when applying or anything. It felt still soft and very shiny. So at this point, I'm going to blend everything together until I get a smooth consistency. Look at that goodness, look at that juiciness, look at this yumptious, sumptuous, gramptious. <laughs> anyway. Look at how smooth it looks. And you can see it's oily, so creamy and smooth but this is deceiving. So I'm going to use this cheesecloth right here. I think that's what it's called, um, yeah. You know those kind of cloths that you can use to strain stuff? Yes, I'm going to use it just to be safe, guys, just to be safe, because I've done this so many times where I think the mixture is smooth and at the end of the day, it was a lie. It was all a lie. <laughs> it was a lie. 
So I still found tiny bits and pieces in my hair and it was so difficult to get it out because they are so tiny and they clinch to your hair. So guys, it's better to be safe than sorry. So if you don't have this kind of cloth, get yourself one. You will thank yourself for doing that because once it comes to washing it out, uh, don't say I did not tell you. Don't say I didn't tell you. So now I'm putting the mixture into the cloth and then I would strain it. But I tried to get everything because like I said, no avocados and bananas left behind. None whatsoever. So this is my method of squeezing. And maybe when you are doing it, you might have a different, more effective method. It was a little bit messy, but I'd rather it be messy like this than me having to deal with the bits and pieces later on. But once you strain this, you will see you'll see the things that were left this is all that was still left after straining so there were still bits and pieces i don't know if you could see there were still some tiny tiny dark spots and everything if i had left it just like that all those things would have been stuck in my hair anyway so at this point i'm going to put in my regular deep conditioner that i use from and jackie's the soft and sassy that's actually a kids line that i use for my daughter but i also use it for myself and i'm going to use three teaspoons and mix it in together with my avocado banana mask so that is my protein treatment guys that is my protein slash deep conditioning treatment there are so many ways that you can do this you can use olive oil you can use honey you can use yogurt just depends on you i find that if i use yogurt my hair feels more hard and um, it doesn't feel as soft as if i use this mixture so this is what i like to use and this is what i used right after i took down my protective style and let me show you how i applied into my hair so this is me after my hair has been freshly washed after 12 weeks of protective styling after 12 hours of detangling and another two hours of washing my hair this is where i am at putting my diy mask into my hair so as you can see the consistency had turned brown at the surface because it was sitting there waiting for me whilst i was washing my hair but all i did was to mix it up and it was all good to go so just because it turned brown doesn't mean it was spot you know how banana and avocado be doing when oxygen just hits it like that they just turn brown that's just the way it, they work okay so that's basically what happened i don't know if you can tell but immediately i apply this in my hair my hair literally soaked it up so there isn't really much white residue like even this because i did not really work it in you can see but if i like push it in you can see how my hair just soaks it up it just soaks it up so i make sure to really really work it in i'm squeezing it in my hair at this point is still detangled and i didn't want to mess it up so i kept it in these um sections and I'm just going to squeeze the mixture into my hair. I don't know if I show it, but I'm really focusing it also on my ends. I applied extra amount on my ends because we know the ends are the eldest and we're supposed to treat our elders with respect, okay? So that's the same thing I'm doing with my ends, treating them with respect and giving them some extra love. So at this point, I'm just putting the remaining, cause like I said, no avocado and no bananas left behind. So I'm using everything up, even the amount, I thought it wasn't enough, but I ended I ended up having way too much like I wanted to use everything I don't know if I can freeze it I don't think um, I could freeze it for another batch I haven't tried it before so I don't know how that would be but anyways I had to use everything as you can see you can't really see the mixture that much on my hair because like I said my hair literally soaked it up soaked it up that I did not have the white coat and the white coat it's just there because I haven't worked it into my hair but once I squeeze it into my hair my hair just soaks it up so I left this mixture in my hair for an hour I didn't apply heat like I usually would. I had something to do that day, so I didn't really apply heat. That's why I left it for an hour. And even with that hour, my hair was, my hair had soaked it up. When I took down the plastic bag, you wouldn't see any 
film my hair wasn't white it had totally absorbed the mixture and my hair felt so so soft so soft and it was so shiny unfortunately i don't have footage of the way my hair looked afterwards because it was late by the time i washed it out and i was tired <laughs> i did not really feel like pulling up my camera and recording to be honest so just take my word for it try it out for yourself and see how it works for you So yes, I put on my plastic cap like I said and it's going to be on my hair for an hour before I rinse it out. First time rinsing it out, I just rinsed it out by itself and then I realized that not everything came off. So I rinsed it out with conditioner, a little bit of conditioner and then it came out easily. So guys, but that's basically it for my video. I hope you liked it and if you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell so that you are notified when my next video comes up. Guys, I love you so, 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 so much. <laughs> See you again in my next video. Stay blessed, stay healthy and stay safe. It is your girl, Abaya, A, A, Abaya. Hey, hey, bye-bye. Mm.